I noticed about eight months into the pandemic, uh, at the end of October 2020, the increase in number of patients coming to see me for symptoms of depression, anxiety, feelings of being overwhelmed, like they're, they're not enough, they're not worthy of love, uh, they haven't succeeded in what they wanted to do earlier in the life, they had goals and those goals have since vanished, they don't have motivation to pursue them, they tell themselves that the goals that they used to have couldn't be completed for a variety of reasons, a variety of limiting beliefs, we'll call them, about what they're capable of doing. And I, on October 30th, 2020, I think I came as close as I ever have to just getting up and walking out of the room, never to return, because I felt like what's happened with outpatient internal medicine um, the demands that are that are on us to see the volume of patients we need to see, to keep track of everything that we need to keep track of. Um, the documentation process has gotten more intricate. Electronic medical rescue systems have not saved us and made us more efficient. In fact, maybe, maybe even the opposite. Certainly they've made the visits less personal as the patient now looks at the side of your face as you try to enter the information that the patient is trying to relay to you all while knowing that you have certain things that you need to document in order to get an ever decreasing reimbursement from the insurance company based on how you document. So there are almost two different conversations occurring, what the physician needs to document and enter into the computer in a specific formatted way and what the patient's concerns are. And these often do not overlap the way you might expect. The time to see the patients has, has decreased but it seems as if the number of emotional, psychiatric, psychological, social problems have increased to the point where it is almost impossible to manage the patient's complaints in an empathetic, sympathetic way, which is why most of us went into medicine in the first place, to try to help the person's mind, to try to help their, their body. But over the last, I would say in October, I noticed it seemed to have reached a pinnacle, the number of cases of coronavirus really spiking um, over the summer is that patients seemed like they, they were at an impasse 